Hello students have you ever watched horror movies some of you may have and i know some of you might also be afraid of skeletons which are the ghosts so students today we will learn the truth behind the skeleton and i promise it is not scary so have you ever wondered how different parts of our body get their shape we have already learned about the movement of different parts of our body we know what bones and joints are we also found out about the different types of joints in our body as well so all the bones present in our body form a framework to give a shape to our body the framework is called the skeleton students one interesting fact is that the human skeleton is composed of around 305 bones at birth the number of bones in the skeleton actually changes with age it decreases to 206 bones after some bones fuse together by the time you are an adult so students how do we know that this is the shape of a human skeleton we have some idea about the shape and number of bones in some parts of our body by feeling them one other way we could know this shape better would be to look at x-ray images of the human body did you or anyone in your family ever have an x-ray of any body part taken sometimes when we are hurt or we have an accident doctors use these x-ray images to find out about any possible injuries that might have happened to our bones the x-rays shows the shapes of the bones in our bodies students try and feel the bones in your forearm upper arm lower leg and upper leg and try to find the number of bones in each part similarly feel the number of bones in your ankle and knee joints and compare these with x-ray images now bend your fingers are you able to bend them at every single joint try and find out how many bones your middle finger has feel the back of your palm it seems to have many bones isn't it is your wrist flexible yes it is it is actually made up of several small bones Now students let us do an activity to find out some more facts about our skeleton Take a deep breath and hold it for a while Feel your chest bones and the back bone by gently pressing the middle of the chest and back at the same time Count as many ribs which are the bones of the chest as you can observe the shape of the ribs we can see that the ribs are curiously bent they join the chest bone and the backbone together to form a kind of box this is called the rib cage some very important internal organs of our body lie protected inside this cage now ask a friend to touch his toes without bending his knees put your fingers at the center of his back can you feel some long and hard structure starting from the neck move your fingers downwards on the back of your friend what you are feeling is his backbone it is made of many small bones the rib cage is joined to these bones 
if his backbone were made of only one long bone would your friend be able to bend no it would not have been possible make your friend stand with his hands pressed to a wall ask him to try and push the wall do you see two bones standing where his shoulders are these are called shoulder bones now observe this picture carefully this structure is made of pelvic bones they enclose the portion of your body below the stomach this is the part that is sit on the skull it is made of many bones joined together it encloses and protects a very important part of the body your brain we have already discussed the many bones and joints in our skeleton in the last lesson there are some additional parts of the skeleton that are not as hard as the bones and which can be bent these are called cartilage feel your ear do you find any hard bony parts that can be bent yes there do not seem to be any bones here isn't it you can notice something different between the ear lobe and the parts above it if you press them you can feel something in the upper parts of the ear that is not as soft as the ear lobe but it is not as hard as a bone this is a cartilage cartilage is also found in the joints of the body we have seen that skeleton is made of many bones joints and cartilage you can see bend and move many of them so we have learnt about the bones in our body and about joints that help us move in different ways what makes the bones move the way they do let us find out make a fist with one hand bend your arm at the elbow and touch your shoulder with the thumb do you see any change in your upper arm yes touch it using the other hand you can feel a swollen region inside your upper arm this is a muscle the muscle bulged due to contraction it became smaller in length now bring your arm back to its normal position what happened to your muscle is it still contracted no it is not contracted any more you can also observe similar contraction of muscles in your leg when you walk or run when contracted the muscle becomes shorter stiffer and thicker it pulls the bone muscles work in pairs when one of them contracts the bone is pulled in that direction the other muscle of the pair relaxes to move the bone in the opposite direction the relaxed muscle contracts to pull the bone towards its original position while the first one relaxes a muscle can only pull it cannot push so two muscles have to work together to move a bone so students now that we know how movements take place in our body in the next class we will get to learn about how animals move whether all animals have bones like us or do they have a different framework i hope you liked today's class i hope to see you again in the next class until then thank you